Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Chris here, and we're doing a corn tier list for all the songs. Um, we're gonna be rating every song um, that is available in this list, um, which I'll show you. Huh? Right there. Uh, I'm gonna I'm going all the way up here. Check me out. I'm, I'm huge. So we have a metric uckload of songs here. And it should be pretty much every song for the most part. They, they have up the Requiem. They have a whole lot of, like, um, remixes and stuff like that and extra songs. And they're all color-coded through the albums, too, So, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I can also drag the album, but I'm not going to bother with that. Um, I need to change this, so I'm going to make the listing, the tiers, um, just like, you know, alphanumerical school system kind of thing. So we're just going to have an S+. Plus down to an S, B, C, D, E, F, whatever, D, uh, I guess, uh, you know, you skip E, but F, and then we have, um, I'll make a don't care, and there will be one more that's going to be never heard, and then... I guess I don't really need this one because there's not going to be very many in like the never heard section and not many in the don't care section. Um, but like when it comes to remixes and stuff like that, I don't really listen to many remixes like at all ever. And they're definitely not my rotation. So we can just kind of put those in like the never heard or don't care column. Um, yeah, I think so. I think this works. We have the S plus reserved for like as close to perfect as you can get. I need to take my medication. I forgot to do that. Um, then you have S, obviously, which is like so close. Like if you if you think about it, like S plus ten out of ten. S a nine out of ten. You know, A eight out of ten. Seven six five. And if it's if it's down to like the F, it's beneath a five out of ten. I'm drinking. Baja Point Break Punch Mountain Dew, and it's okay. It kind of tastes like a popsicle, but way too much sugar. I fucking, I don't know why they need 74 grams of sugar in these fucking things, dude. All right, <clears throat> so let's start off. We are going into Korn's self-titled. Now, if you saw my um, tier list video for the albums, um... This is where I'm going to get some contention because, you know, I already had some people disagreeing, some respectfully, most respectfully disagreeing with my opinions, and that's totally fine. And like I said in that, my opinion on that stuff changes all the time. So, um, you're, you're going to see some songs from an album that wasn't ranked very high or as high on the list as others that ends up being like an S-tier song or whatever have you. So, um, you're just going to have to deal with that because... <laughs> My brain. I'm, I'm a silly, I'm a silly goober. So we're gonna start with Corn Self Titled in order right here, and we have Blind, and I think we're immediately gonna put that for now an S. And in case you didn't know how these tier lists work, tier lists work. Um, the closer it is to the letter, is higher, is the highest in that tier segment. So like, if Lies went behind Blind blind is above lies in the rating kind of thing so uh it's left to right best so yeah i think yeah think about it like that so blind that's going straight into an s for sure um and i will shuffle as i need so lies is a song that like i do enjoy this song but i don't listen to it very often i think this song has a really good verse uh, has really good verses. I don't care much for the chorus of the bridge, but the verses themselves are great. I'm going to put that for now in B. And a lot of these are going to be my knee-jerk reaction of where they're going to go. Like, immediately when I think Helmet in the Bush, I'm immediately going at least to a B. And then figure it out where it goes on this list. And it's going to go right above Lies, because it's better than Lies. Daddy is uh, difficult. Because the song itself has such a raw emotional resonance with so many people and even if you don't have the relation to the song that a lot of people do just the just the the, the human experience behind it just the pain behind the song is so good that you can't help but like 
have it affect you you know if you have any empathy whatsoever the song will fuck you up in some regard but that being said disregarding that aspect of the song um i think the song itself is probably a seven but then when you add the emotions and everything on top of it it obviously elevates it but just for the song itself i'm going to keep that probably like a seven actually i'm going to um just so i can have those uh be better references for people and then f and whatever have you those don't really need to be all right so it's i'm going to put that on the i'm gonna put it right there seven uh ball tongue i do like this song a lot don't get me wrong but i definitely don't listen to it as much as i i did like when i first got into corn um like i've said in that in the other video um i pretty much started at like i don't know if i came in around i don't remember what year it was like middle school it's early middle school like so like 2007 okay something like that and i don't know years or releases i know what corn formed in 93 or whatever and i was born in 93 so like i had a few years before i could actually discover corn and it was only thanks to my friend justin that i even got into them so when i went back to their early stuff it was very sporadic and out of order and just like whatever basically whatever songs they had music videos for is how i was listening to most of the music so uh and Ball Tongue wasn't part of that. I don't think. I don't think Ball Tongue had a music video. Um, but I'm going to probably, for now, put that above Lies in B. Now, Need To, that's going straight to A. I love that song, Need To. It's so good. Clown, that's going top of A for now. I almost want to put in S, but I'm going to try to E <coughs> stingent with S's. Okay, because those again reserved for songs that are nearly flawless. And while I absolutely love the song Clown, it's definitely it's not a near perfect song in my opinion. Like the song isn't elevated to an ascendant form for me. It's just a great fucking song. Um one of my favorite songs to karaoke to all the time in the car. Also, I apologize if my throat's a little bit scratchy. I've I've had like a little uh the the number next to it is like a, out of 10, like S plus is a 10 out of 10, 9, 9 out of 10, and so on and so forth. Also, hello, Jake. Um, I've had a little bit of a scratchy throat, not really sick, a little bit of a cough and a little bit of a scratch because my, my brother has been sick. So, Jake, do you even, like, can you even name a corn song? Like, is this, is this going to mean anything to you? I'm trying to pay attention to this? Oh, yeah, good song. Uh, Divine, that's... I think right now it's going to be a bottom of A. Um, and I'm going to, like I said, kind of go through these a little bit quick. I mean, because, Jake, look, we have corn songs to sort. Um, I'm going to go through these kind of fast and then shuffle as I go along. I'm not going to take too long deliberating on each song, I say, as I'm 12 minutes in and I haven't got through the first album. Yeah, corn has a huge discography. They've been around since 93. And hell, even before that, Jonathan Davis and everybody was doing stuff. Um, we have Faggot which is how I'm pronouncing it for the sake of the live stream. That's going, gonna, that's going to go right behind Blind, I think. It might be at the top of A, but for now, I'll keep it at uh, the lower part of S for the moment. Shoots and Ladders. I think this, for like legacy's sake, it would need to be like a 10 out of 10, but I don't think the song's a 10 out of 10. Um, it's definitely at least a 9 out of 10, and that's going to go right here. Um, predictable, I have a soft spot for that song. I've always loved it. But I'm going to put it at the bottom of A for now. Actually, no, I'm going to put it at the top of B. Top of B. Trying to get stuff right there at the top is so annoying. Because, like, for some reason, when you grab it, the actual, like, image um, placement location is, like, on the right side for some reason. It's weird. I don't really care that much for the song Fake. I'll be honest. I'm going to put that in C. Not It's not bad. Because when you get to D, it's getting down to bad. But All right. And that's all so far. For the corn self-titled, uh, we're gonna get into "Life Is Peachy," "Twist," straight up to S plus. That's a ten out of ten song. Uh, "Wicked," that's gonna go. It's not a song you listen to very much, but it's a. It's definitely a song that's just a lot of fun. It's so catchy when Jonathan Davis comes in. It's so fucking catchy. I thought about covering that song, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> I haven't learned like any of the lyrics, so it's just been one of those songs. I'm gonna. <sighs> 
I think if I'm gonna keep it. It's gonna be the first in D for now, just because I think the only good part of that song is JD and his like falsettos in the background. But uh, Adidas, that's going. Oh. Yeah, you should definitely know "Blind." That's like one of the songs that Corn is basically known for entirely, next to "Freak on a Leash." Um, Oh, Adidas is so hard to place. Because, again, I don't want to be too liberal with my S pluses. I want to put that above. I want to put all these S's and S plus, but I can't. I have to restrain myself. Uh, Adidas is going to go. I, I'm, I'm going to put it above Faggot and Blind. Every time I send a message, Facebook gives me a notification for the message I sent. Like, I know there's a notification there. I sent the message. Why do you suck, Facebook? Fuck off. Um, all right, so, and I was debating on like playing some of the songs here, but like that was just nah, I'm not gonna do it. Low Rider. Actually, I'm gonna put that in Don't Care. It's not a bad song. I just literally do not give a fuck about Low Rider and that it's a cover of that song. I, I don't care, dude. I heard that song so much watching George Lopez growing up. I'm just so sick of that song. Ass itch. Um, put that at the bottom of B for now. Uh. I, I'm not a huge fan of the chorus, but the rest of the song is great. Kill You, that's... I'll put it right behind Clown for now. Chi, this is one of the first um, covers I saw uh, of Korn on YouTube by Nuno or Nuno, however you pronounce his name. I believe that was him. I saw his Chi cover. And that, that that inspired me to get into trying to do my own cover stuff. Um, I'm going to put it above Asich and beneath Daddy. But Lies, I don't like better than those. So Lies is going down to the bottom here. I think Predictable is going to go behind Helm in the Bush. Yeah. I'm also sick of this song. I've heard it way too many times. Um, all right. Da, 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 sorry. Looking at other stuff on the side. All right. So, Lost. Oh, I hope you guys could hear that vibrate through my jaw. Uh, lost is going to go top of C for now. I like I like the song, but it's not in my rotation. It's one of those like once a month listen to's, or if I'm just letting my corn playlist go. Um, which, for reference, my corn playlist, I have two. I have my corn playlist that's like all of the songs by corn I like, which is about 179 songs. And then my corn No Miss is only 160. It's, it's, so this is like pretty much I would never skip a song on this playlist. So there's 160 corn songs that I would just not skip if it came up kind of thing. I could probably simmer this down a little bit, but eh. All right, um, Swallow. Immediately, that's above Asich and Chi. Put it above... I'll put it above Predictable. Porno Creep, don't care. Cast some light into your life for now. Good God. That's I'm gonna put Good God at the bottom of A right now. Mr. Rogers is is it, it's in the same vein as Helmet in the Bush for me, but I think it I think it's right up. I don't know if it's above or right below Helmet in the Bush. I'm gonna put it above right now. I'm gonna put uh, Cunt up at the top of C because I like the song. It's really fun and it's just kind of a just a big spit on everybody, but like. Ultimately, like it's not a, it's not an amazing song by any right, but it's still great. No place to hide. Um, I'll put it right above Acid, I think. It's on. Uh, at the bottom of A, I think. I don't listen to it that much, just because as much as I love the intro, they be like. Wait, is that that's not just. No, I was gonna say that's not twisted transistor. For a second, I got really confused. Yeah. Um. 
I like the intro, but I just don't, I don't like a long, if, a, if an intro is more than like 25 seconds, I'm, I don't want to do it, unless an intro is like a fucking build up, like just, but if it's like a slow, I like to listen to it on my own, but like I listen to music mostly when I'm in the car, so, hello, how you doing? Uh, actually, I had a question for you, since you're here, um, how would you like, how would you like me to refer to you in the stream chat? Like, what name would you like me? So I just go, so I don't just say, hi, you. Like, what, what would you prefer? I was thinking about it's some acronym or something, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's on, the The buildup is great. I absolutely love the, that whole thing, but like, it takes too long in the car. Unless I'm like taking a really long drive, I'm usually kind of shotgunning through um, really, really loud, mad music. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything, like, I can just, you know, refer to you, but, you know, I'm not sure, because everybody needs to have a name to go by, and I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's on bottom of A. Uh, Justin, I fucking... I, I love this song, and it was one of the songs I listened to a lot in middle school. But, I don't ultimately think it's that crazy good of a song. It's catchy, but it's going to go, I think, in top of C. Um, and uh, just so you're aware, the 10, the 9, the 8, the 7 are like out of 10. 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10. And then for other reference, S, A, B, C for like numerical grading system or whatever have you. Just to so get an idea of like how I'm thinking about where they go. Um... Seed. I don't care that much for the song. Again, it's a song that has a really long buildup, which is nice, but not when I'm blasting through music in my car. And I only have like 20 minutes to drive to work. I can't listen to that many songs, so I usually have my uh, my my playlist is called Windows Down Cock Out, and that's just a lot of really uh, a lot of like deathcore and stuff. So it's like I drive by, and my music is the middle finger to everybody else on the road. Um, so not a lot of buildup songs like this. I'm gonna put Seed. I'm going to put it right here, right above fake and right below lost for now, because when the song gets going, it's great. It's just it takes so long to get there. Camelotosis, bad song. Uh, My Gift to You. This is a legendary ass song like Jonathan Davis's performance of this. I, what was it at Woodstock 99? I think or I think it was at Woodstock and he's up there in the kilt and he starts doing My Gift to You and he fucking like has a toddler temper tantrum on stage during the, the bridge and the break. I mean, like, I, I say toddler temper tantrum, but, like, it's a huge emotional moment. But he's on the floor, like, kicking his feet and stuff because he's breaking down. It's so fucking good and memorable. But I don't listen to the song that much because it's it's long. It's like a five or six minute song, isn't it, I think? Um, still, I think... <sighs> I'm going to put it uh, right... I'm going to put it at the top of B for now. Uh, Earache My Eye. I don't care about this song at all. Freak on a Leash. Boom. Don't even have to think about it. Got the Life. Don't even have to think about it. Uh, dead Bodies Everywhere. I absolutely love this song on a technical level. Um, the bass, the boom, boom, it like vibrates my dash cam off my car. It's so good. And then the, the like really, um, I don't know how to describe it besides like Halloween, the, the, the little break, the way he's doing like his like gasping and shit. Oh, that's, uh, mm, I love it, dude. It's so good with a good sound system. Um, I'm going to throw this, I think. I'm gonna put it at the top of B, I think. Cause it's not it's not like an incredible song, but it has those moments where it just like it bites bottom lip. Children of the corn. <laughs> John the Davis's partner is really good, but i what who is the Ice Cube? Shut up, Ice Cube, get out of here. Respect you, but respectfully. <laughs> um BBK. Another song that when I started exploring their discography and I started at this um, um, follow, the, follow the leader and self-titled 
BBK was one of the really early, like, oh yeah, I'm getting into Korn songs, but I really don't listen to it very often anymore. Uh, also, if the music is too loud at any point, let me know. It's louder for me than it is for you, or vice versa. I don't quite know. Uh, BBK, I'm going to B. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it at the top of C for now. And again, as I go along, I'll hit points and I'll reshuffle some of these. But we have a lot to get through. So, <laughs> um, pretty, um, uh, this song's so fucking good. Uh, top of B. Uh, All in the Family. C, middle of C. Reclaim My Place. Top of B. Oh, it, top of B. Now we get into issues where half the album is just short half songs, but the other half of the album is almost, almost flawless. This album would have been a near, this album would have been a perfect album if it wasn't for the fact it has like, what, one, uh, two, three, four, five, five like minute or less long songs that are all fantastic songs in their own right for what they are but if those were like full songs and not just like intermission songs oh and if they got rid of wake up hate because i really don't like that song that's d that's a d tier i do not like that song or a wit not wake up hate wake up uh and wake up hate too is also not great but all right fine i'll put it at the bottom of c but uh dead is great but is it better than fucking swallow and helmet in the bush no i don't think so so I th I'm just going to put most of these short ones at the bottom of B because they are fantastic, but also just they could have been a full song. Uh, hey, Daddy. I want to cover that, too, but it's just so up there. Just hey, Daddy, just like <laughs> way up in the top right there. And it's just such like ugh. that song gives me a, a neck ache because it's so much constriction. It actually makes my jaw hurt. Actually, come to think of it, I did try to cover it once before, but that just I was not in the space for it and I was not in the vocal space for it I'm definitely not right now um let's get this party started it's the chorus is good I don't really care that much about the rest I mean I do because there's no bad corn songs really but ignore F and don't care there's no bad corn songs that 99% of their songs are fucking incredible it's like uh, even with gorillas who have, are I have multiple gorillas tattoos I have no corn tattoos yet um, I think I was thinking about giving myself the backwards R somewhere just as a quick little thing, but even Gorillaz has like a whole slew of F songs, but Korn just doesn't have that. I don't think I'm going to get many more. I think I'm going to have less than five F songs and less than, well, besides the remix is not included, less than five don't cares. Uh, wish it could be me. I'm going to put that right there. Let's get this party started. I'm going to put that right there. Counting... there counting in no way feel like just very similar songs in my head dirty that's going up at the top but where top five and a it's trash for you is my favorite of the short songs i think it is for most people um that could that's even going to beat a couple of these i love this song put it right there and uh, beg for me it's either at the top of B or the bottom of A. I'll put it at the bottom of A. It'll make me bad, dude. That's... Right there. <laughs> yeah, happy with that one. <laughs> also, you're probably on a, a delay, so like... You might be on like a 20 second delay or something. So, if I respond incorrectly to what you are saying or what you're excited about or disagreeing about, have to clarify because we're delayed. Uh, here to stay, dude, that's going straight up the top. But is it above blind? No. Is it above make me bad? No. Oh, that's a tough one, dude. Uh, trying to move anything in the S tiers or above. I'm gonna put it right above Adidas. 
because when you get to the break it down part, it's just that's such a fucking like that's it's like right next to blind when it comes to crowd pleaser, like everybody just starts jumping. When I've been here to stay hits that break, so I think there's definitely more hype for here to stay um, than there is for because Adidas is just such like a fucking. You just, it's just a bop. You just so groovy throughout, but here to stay, you just want to throw a table. Uh, I love beat it up, right? The <laughs> oh man, it's one of the songs where like when you actually listen to the lyrics, you're like, oh okay, <laughs> I love that. What do you mean of my ability to what sort this or just be live or because I I can give you the link for this and you can make your own list. It would take a while, but I'm, I am going to uh, just to sort it. Gotcha. It's hard. I am going to put this in there also for anyone else who wants to make their own list. I don't know if that's going to actually copy the link for my current list. You might have to go down to the bottom, hit reset if it actually copies my list, but anyway. Um, it's, it's definitely not easy because, like, sorting albums, I can average out the songs, but I have to look at all these so individually. If I could, if I had the time, and if it was, like, actually, if it was worth my time to, to divert from other projects to this, I would go through every single song and rank them out of, like, an out of ten basis for... Like, the way I used to do anime reviews and TV show reviews... Uh, actually, I did it for my Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous episode on the on the main channel and on the uh, podcast, uh, Nihility Podcast channel. Um, I break it down into a bunch of categories, and I rank each one of those categories out of 10, and it's 10 categories. So then by the time I get to the end of all those, you have a total out of 100 adding all the categories together. I would do that for every single song if I could, so I could actually sort it by an out of 100 averaged out whatever i would totally do that if it was like financially and time feasible um i don't think it's above clown so the way i have to look at it is i have to grab it and see is it above that one no so it's in this one at least is it above this yes so where does it fall in here i might put this right here behind dirty just because this song is just like this is the song that if my car had um what's it called uh like had a fucking bouncing lift or whatever have you i would have beat it up right go like i would do that <coughs> but definitely to beat it up right uh embrace i fucking love this song too um but i don't listen to it very often i definitely over listen to it i'm gonna put it right at the top of b i think because I don't think it's better than Beg For Me. So I think it's going to stick right there. I don't really care about Wake Up Hate. I'm going to put it... I do like it. Like, we got a fucked up reason to hate. And then, I am the man. I like that, but I just don't listen to it that much. I don't know if it's the... There's like the actual backbeat. I think if it was... I like that backbeat. I just don't know if it fits with this song. I don't know what it is. Something about the song is just... I don't know. Sometimes my, I completely brain out and I can't think. I was going to do a video the other day after I recorded the album tier list of me trying to guess every corn song. You just have a huge blank list of all the albums and I just had to like type in each individual song name and I think I got like 30 in before I just couldn't think of any anymore because that's just how your fucking dumb brains work it's like n name a woman Bill Clinton like <laughs> just completely flatlined you know at least everything's here in front of me and I can take the time to think about it um this is Alex, not Alex, is going to be so pissed at me if she sees this. She, Because uh, I did this, like, uh, probably a year ago. And I did it pretty quickly, mind you. And I posted it, I think, on my book Twitter. And she's like, uh-uh. She's just like, fucking like, we're about to have some words with most of my list. But that's okay. Uh... Uh, 
Uh, this is going up the ranks, actually. I think this might be a top of B. I think. Actually, I'm gonna probably reclaim my place above Embrace too. And a pretty's going up there too. All right, that got demoted. Sorry, Embrace. My bad. And no one's there. Like I like the song a lot. And I think. I think if it had like five more BPM, it was just like a little bit faster. I think I'd like it a lot more, but it's just like to all these nameless in my mind. It's just like, and I know that it's just like it was a short lyric set. Like it's not like a giant diatribe of shit, but it's just a very so you have to stretch out those lyrics to make the song. And I get that, I get that, but it's just I can't judge it on that because it's 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 purposefully like that. It's just a little slow for me sometimes. It's a good, I'm listening to it in the background while doing something song. But where does it fall? Is it better than I'm hiding? No, it's better than BBK. Right there. I oh, make believe. I immediately want to... Right there, I think. Blame. Blame is a song where I, for some reason I can't think of it. I have to, I actually have to listen to this for a second, um, since we were just talking about that. I need to refresh my, myself. I think I'm, uh, Reclaim My Place is getting shuffled all over the place. It's like, leave me alone. Leave me, leave me somewhere. Hollow Life, that's immediately. Uh, I'm gonna put it at the bottom of S right now. Ooh, I don't know though, because is Hollow Life better than Clown? Yeah, I think so. I'll put that right there, I think. Oh, yeah. And I don't like hating very much. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's quite D. I'll put it right there. I listen to One More Time a lot in, like, ninth or 10th grade. But I don't listen to it very... I haven't listened to it very much since. Like, I will obviously listen to it. I'll listen to every single corn song all the time. But also with Spotify's algorithm, it doesn't come up very much. Because Spotify just tries to feed you the same shit over and over again. Even if you're on shuffle, it just plays the same shit. Which is so annoying. It, Spotify keeps trying to play me. Um... Like, Jane's Got a Gun by Aerosmith and stuff. I was like, dog, I am not in the mood for Aerosmith. I know I'm playing shuffle in my all music playlist which has 1800 songs but like i don't want to listen to aerosmith please and then it tries to get in the kick of like classic rock stuff and like i my classic rock playlist is reserved for me mowing the lawn and doing hard labor because that's where i listen to it with my dad so like unless i'm doing one of those things don't play classic rock unless it's like fucking like Led Zeppelin or something. I think I have to put it like second, second in not uh, S. I think as I love right now. <laughs> you had to Google. Well, what did you find? Because it could be wrong. When it comes to acronyms, it could be anything. I listen to right now so fuck. The music video for right now always fucked me up. I don't know what it was. Just it's that it's that simple cartoon gore that gets me i can watch people get their brains blown out on in movies but they said it's like the skin peeling off and just like the stuff that's so simple always messes me up yes it's asked me anything okay good i don't know it could have been anything it could have been like anal mariachi attack or something like that it's a, such a good video but i don't know what it is it just like it, it always i, I might have just seen it for the first time at like a real weak knee moment and it just sticks with me a little nope don't want to watch that music video. I don't like the music video for Evolution either. Because something about the monkeys creep me the fuck out. Monkeys are scary. Uh, I don't, I'm not hovering around F or anything. I'm just I'm thinking. Because every time I do this, it pushes everything. So I'm holding it here so I can see the order. Oh, my nose. It's so itchy. There's a lot of a lot of nose to itch. I'm going to put it, I think, right here for now. Oh, fuck. Itching your nose of the septum is the worst because you can't fully itch it, and then you're always worried that you got like a, a, a like a loose boog just hanging on the metal. 
I'm always terrified of that. I'm constantly looking at my nose in the mirror, which is like the last thing I want to look at in the mirror. All that sebaceous filament stuck on my nose. Disgusting. I'm moving that up. I'm gonna put it right there, I think. Because I don't listen to Dirty as much because it makes me cry. Um, and right now it makes me uh, break my fucking neck. Ooh. Hey, what's up, Brock? How you doing? Hey, actually, here on the Vocal Cover channel, which is where you found me. <laughs> Welcome again. I'm done. I think this is in the same vein as One More Time for me. Like, these two songs are pretty paired together. So I'm going to put it right there for now. Put that right there, I think. I think it's third or fourth in B for now. <clears throat> uh, we still have a lot to go. We're like halfway done, maybe, or like three eighths. No, more than yeah, three eighths. I think that's right. You rank y'all in a single lower. I, I was thinking about it too, and honestly, yeah, I. <sighs> Because I don't, I, the song is so repetitive, but I think Jonathan Davis's his 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 scream in this song is just so fucking wet. Just y'all was so sorry about that. It's just like he's just like so he's just like baring his teeth through it. Um, but yeah, you know what? See, this is good input. I need I needed to rethink that for a second. I was a little bit too impulsive. I think I would drop that, and it's still in B, but I think it is above. I'm gonna, I think I, oh, no, I'm gonna put it right above Embrace. Yeah. Yeah, I need to be, I need to be in check. I'm doing pretty good. So it's 8.30 already? Oh yeah, I took a shower when I got home, that's right. Oh, uh, when will this end? I like this song, but I really don't listen to it, because doesn't this song have like six minutes of pretty much silence until it has like little thing of like Jonathan Davis's dad talking or something at like fucking like nine minutes in or some shit I don't know I like this song but I wish it wasn't that long on the actual release I wish I had a cut version of it <laughs> top of C for now again I'm gonna shuffle these later but one it's it's a good song and it's a good cover I really don't care to listen to it but it is good. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it at the bottom of C. Cause like it's a good song. I just don't listen to it because I'm definitely way over Metallica at this point. The only song I'll listen to is Sad But True. I fucking love that song. And I think I have like seven Metallica songs that I like, but I really I can't listen to them anymore without thinking of just like them being so memeable. Uh when listen to five minutes of silence and it played the band cover of one during the MTV Metallica. Yes. But I thought, wasn't there a song where it went to... What song went to Static? I'm going to turn this down a little bit. What song went to... Was it Dirty that went to Static? And then had like a little like radio edit of something come in for like a minute or two and then went back to Static or something? It was Dirty? Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Oh, dirty, I don't. I think the one I have is the cut version. It's the, it's the regular, just the song. So, all right, breaks them off. Another super wet Jonathan Davis scream song. That's like a full diaphragm, it's like oh, kind of scream. I thought, I swear, I'm gonna have to. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts because I, I know it. I know it existed. It might have been on like an early, like a CD release, like a special edition CD release or something. No, I don't, I don't think so. Cause daddy ends with like the woman singing and then it kind of fades out. I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on it. I know it exists. I'm not crazy. I'm crazy. The original album version was 17 minutes. Oh, fuck. Now I have to look. God damn it. You, why did you say that? This custom diaphragm is short. Well, well, we're 
Some of mortician shit or something. I don't know. Thank you. But that I that I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew that existed somewhere. All right, back to the list. Break some off. Um, I lost my entire fucking mental now. Put that right there for now. All right, counting on me. Excuse me. Bourbon. I'll put it right there. Right there. Right there. Wait. Up. <laughs> no. For which one? I don't know which one, though, because I went through those too quick. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm always going a little fast right there. Um. Getting so massively trained. Why does this happen to me every time? Is that better than beg for me? Counting on me? Yeah, I know. I covered counting on me, so it kind of has to be up higher. Top of B. Uh, deep inside, I think that's. I honestly, yeah, I might put that right there. Here it comes again. Yeah, I think I like that cover a lot. Um, I kind of forgot for a second. Because uh, for some reason, whenever I think of you know, Counting On Me and then Counting, how dare you put two two songs with Counting in the title and it makes me makes my little brain shrivel and cry. Did My Time, dude, all-time classic. Uh, this is going up here in S10. I fucking love that song. Everything I've known is in the same vein for me as When Will This End. I think it's just above it. It's a good song, but for some reason, it just... Alright, I'm gonna put up a little more. Right there. Play Me. I first heard the song on the soundtrack to NFL Street 2 or 1, I think. 1 or 2. I don't think it was NFL Street 3. And it's a good song, but it's not a great song. I don't... I'm sorry. I, I don't care that much for a live... I don't think it's that great of a song. I'm putting it at the bottom of C right now. I'll still listen to it on occasion, but I don't care that much for it. But you know what? I need to... I want to hear the verse, because all I have in my head of that is the Ah, oh, live, ah, oh, live, which just gets old very fast. But what about the rest of the song? Because I don't listen to it as often, so let me listen to it real... Let me listen to some of it real quick. You two bads are getting fucking ridiculous, dude. I just get stuck on a safe light ad as it tries to buffer. Thank God for ad blocker. I think the only thing I really like about the song is that I find my time. I'm in and flying. I'm falling in the place I thought I left behind. That's the song, right? Yeah, I like that a lot. But the rest of the song, I could take it or leave it. So just for that part of the song, I'm going to push it up. I'm going to push it up right here. Ooh. Yeah, I'll push it up right there. I think that's good. Oh, dude, word up. You fucking know this is going in S tier. Uh, no, okay, it's, it can't go above Clown and Kill You and all that. I, I love the song, but it can't, it can't, it can't possibly go above these. Young pretty ladies around the world. It's where we're sitting right now. I don't want to shuffle it. Uh, the another brick on, on the wall. It's really good. It is, but I don't listen to it very much. Especially, I've never heard parts two and three of that song. The I, I'm, uh, Untitled is going to piss off a lot of people because there's a lot of songs in here I don't really care that much for. <laughs> like, I do, but like... I, not as not nearly as much as these a lot of those are going to be beer under um but the ones that do stand out are going to be great uh yeah another brick of the wall i've never heard even from the original part two or three i don't think so it's just part one it looks the same what do you mean i also did have a small little break where i was trying to find something and i was also talking so jake there's like fucking 50 songs on here what are you talking about 
That's what I like about this list too, is it actually has a lot of the bonus songs too, which I've had to like download and put on my phone because I can't find them on Spotify. I'm gonna put another brick in the wall. I'm gonna put it right above Wake Up, just for the part one, because it is great, but no, you're you're silly and dumb. Remix, uh, never heard it and also don't care. Uh, Twisted Transistor, this shoots up here. This is hard because I like I want to. A lot of these songs are just fucking nose. A lot of these songs are just tied with one another too. Has to go. Okay, yeah, no problem. I'm sure I'll still be chipping away at it. So if I don't see you again, I hope you have a good night and uh, tell little dude I said the same. Uh. Yeah. No, I will. I'll, uh, the, the live won't go away. I might edit it down for its own individual video, but the, the live will stay up. Mm. I promise it'll be up. Uh, Jake looks like I won't be making Apex for 9 o'clock, by the way. Maybe not, because this is still probably going to take me like another hour to get through, and then by that time it would be like 10, and I would only play for like an hour at that point, so I'm not sure. Oh, my favorite album, See You on the Other Side. This immediately, like pretty much everything in See You on the Other Side is going straight up to A, except for like politics probably. It's hard, I have to think about it, there's a lot to think about. I'm not just going to throw things randomly. Like, I really want to think about it. It means a lot more to me than you think. This is where it's going to make some people mad because I'm going to be pushing down stuff like right now because this album is so good. If you think I'm going to make any progress in 30 minutes, you're funny. It's me again. It's such an underrated bonus song. Yeah, I know, but again, I'm thinking about every single song. Uh, this one might be the only one in B. No, there's gonna be others. Eat Up Inside is really good, but I don't think it beats some of these songs, which is why it didn't make it to the album release, but. Right there, oh, above Baltong. Oh, Last Legal Drug, I covered this song too, fantastic song. But I don't think it beats Beg For Me. Put your hand against your skin, rub it gently to begin to feel it. Can you feel it? Mm, right there. Dude, hypocrites. Fucking. Top of A, I think. Try not to talk too much so I can actually get through it, so I apologize. But remember, this is an AMA, so if you do have any type of question for me at all, it doesn't have to be music related, but uh, fire away so I can fill that dead space too. I, I 
think getting off is going above souvenir, actually. And Tenra two-way or souvenir, that's a hard, that's a hard one. Liars being pushed up. I think it's okay. go in s plus though are any of these perfect songs i think throw me away is going in s plus i am gonna put twist at the bottom of s plus because it, it's a great song but it's not a full song so it automatically goes to the bottom i think Now we get into Untitled. Uh, if for an intro, it's still good. But it's not... Again, it's not a full song, so it's hard to judge it on that merit. It's hard to judge it the same as the others. So I think... I'll put it at the bottom of C. I'm going to put it above. I listen to it more than wake up. So. Oh, innocent bystander. This definitely beats for no one. I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to draw this right here. For no one, I think, is going down. I don't know why I put that in A. I don't know why I put that in A. Okay. Innocent bystander. Put that right there, I think. Middle of A. I don't care for killing very much. Um, but it's still better than some of these. Uh, you know what? Uh, hating? I'm moving that up. I think I'm going to put hating at the top of C. I, 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 I think I would confuse hating for killing for a second when I first put that up there. Been hating all this time. Yeah, that's going up. I don't know why I put that down so low. That's going way up. I completely just thought of the wrong song for that moment. Okay, fix that. Uh, hush bye. Because it's really hard. You can put a song in, in a category, and then once you start to see the songs that are surrounding it, you're like, nah, that ain't right. Nah, I gotta shift all this shit up. That's why it's important to remain objective throughout this and go in, go in at the end and shuffle. Oh, where are you there? I wish I could delete the album covers so I could shift all these up, but... song but I won't be able to help it <sighs> okay ball tongue got demoted again 
Overture or Obituary. I love this song. But I don't think it's better than Predictable. But I do think it's better than these. I think there should be a category for like daddy and stuff where it's its own category, but I'm just gonna leave it. Put them on the backseat while they're coursing your blood. It's their own monster's home. Walking down a dark street. I just pulled where the hell was Justin? Oh no. I gotta look at the live stream. Oh no, I missed it. Fuck, where was Justin? <laughs> Press yourself to me right now. I don't know, I lost it. Uh, push yourself deep down now to the dark ends of my skull. Was it up here? I think it was up there. Evolution goes really high over the top. Uh, eh, hold on, it goes down there. I can't hear the song without thinking of the music video where it's like a rodeo or some shit, and that just makes me not like it. yellow tones here in the middle. <sighs> yeah, I think I like ever be a lot just for the bridge that I love that part of the song a lot. Um what right there. Dude love and luxury that straight to the top where's that going? Let me put it right there, I think. Top five of A for now. Now we get into corn three. And we're getting there. We're moving along. I should just grab a couple of these and just kind of like throw them in spots where they're where I know they're gonna go. It takes two. Never heard that song. You mean I'm not? Never heard that song. Lodi Dodi, never heard that song. I heard Sean Olsen, but I don't care. I don't remember it. I uh, never heard it. Never heard it. It's sad. I don't really care. I like The Devil Went Out of Georgia, but I don't really care to rank it. I can't feel. I never heard that song. Off Requiem? This left me. Changes life goes on, and sadly, this is always me. Yeah, I never heard that song. I didn't. I didn't know the song existed. Huh. Okay. I need to make sure. I need to see if that's on Spotify. Because if it's not on Spotify, I missed it. Episode, so that's not an actual. That's not the songs. So yeah, it's not on Spotify. I'm gonna have to like download it and put it on my own list. Yeah. 
<coughs> all right sorry for that interruption but i had to i had to listen to it all right i've moved a couple of the songs here so we just shortened the list by a good handful so i don't want to fucking play where's the friends go away facebook oh okay um into corn three one of my favorite song uh one of my favorite albums oildale uh, a lot of these are going to be an A because it's hard to compete with some of these, but I do love these songs a lot. I keep almost getting a sneeze. Oh, this is where it gets super tough, seeing where it competes. Uh... <coughs> I do think it beats Liar in Tenor Two Way. I'm gonna put it right there for now, I think. Yeah. I uh, wish I could collapse these so I didn't have to take up that space. I didn't like the past that much. It's a good song. Oh, whoops. Uh, music. Okay. I, I like the song. It's just, it doesn't. I don't think it beats Trapped Underneath the Stairs. I don't think it beats Counting on Me and stuff. Uh, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna move some of these. Trapped Underneath the Stairs, that's going down here. Shuffling here. Yeah, I'm trying to like. I sometimes I get so distracted organizing them by my first instinct in here and I forget to rank them above or below these ones here. Okay, it's a little bit better. Dropped a few of those, being a little bit more strict. I think that's pretty much being paired right beneath or right above here. Yeah. All right. And uh, Path of Totality. Oh, fuck, dude. It's so hard the more songs I get on here. So my first instinct is to put Chaos Lives and Everything in B. But then where does that fall in B? I'm just gonna go uh, uh, right there for now. Way too far, that jumps up pretty high. Beats way too far. Beats make believe, I think. Every single potential placement is contentious to somebody, and I'm trying not to think of what how other people are gonna react. I'm gonna put it right there, I think. Feels of Comedy is really up there for me. I put it right there. First Instinct. 
putting it right there. Uh, I think I have to move People Pleaser up, though. All right. Tension, that's right up here, too. I'm going to put it right there, right behind if he was a comedy. Kill Mercy Within's a pretty okay song. Um... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna drop that right here. I'm gonna drop these down here. Yeah, I've definitely made progress. Uh, I'll put that right there. That's because I also threw a bunch of these um, where I knew they were going to go while I listened to a song I'd not heard before that I didn't realize was on their newest album. So um, I didn't realize that I can't feel. I've never heard that song before. So I had to go listen to that and threw those in while I was listening to that. Is my wall better than Kill Mercy Within? No. I think Kill Mercy Within is going to go right above Assage. I think Assage is coming down here a little bit. Uh, I can put that right there. I like the lyrics a lot to Kill Mercy Within. Narcissistic Candle. I haven't heard the song in a little while. It's not been in my rotation lately, but that's such a fucking good song. It's definitely going in A. But I put it right there. <clears throat> I think that was the song of that album that really got it off the ground. I think it was the song they released first as like the first single for the album. I, I, I'm definitely probably wrong, but <clears throat> mm, I think my wall is going up a little bit. Uh, uh, with Assage though, and I'll keep it there. Illuminati I'm going here. Burn the obedient. That's up here. We're done by ten. Yeah. We probably can. Nega Sumeru. It's Nega Nega Sumeru. I'll try not to say it though. Shigoto no Atoni. Shigoto no Atoni. Sumeru. It's time to wake up I need makeup After a hard day I think I'm dropping for no one down a little bit. Okay. Don't invite me to an Instagram group. Who are you? Get out of here. I want to join your neurodivergent group because I don't even know if I'm in that category. No, I definitely am, but... Alright, now we're into, uh, what is this, Paradigm Shift. Uh, uh, why is it down there? Pray for me. Oh, fuck. Uh, God, this is going to get so difficult. drop y'all with a single down by a couple. <laughs> Hating has just slowly worked its way back up. It's getting up there, dude. Oh, Victimized. I haven't heard this song in a while.
I also I, like, accidentally grab a song in an album and bring it to the, another song in the album, but I shouldn't do that. So I'm comparing them to each other as opposed to everything. I'll put it right there. The Hater is a great song, but I feel like it's just a little bit repetitive. We'll put it right there, I think. Mm -hmm. This album's falling in a lot of B, but the ones that stand out are definitely up there. Okay. Spike my veins, that's definitely going in A. Never gonna run away, thinking of my path, but the pain always gets in the way. Slowly watch you die, I'm insane, so dangerous, don't you dare get in my way. So catchy. My first uh, impression for Black is the Soul is either top A or lower, or sorry, top B or lower A. Definitely better than Next in Line. But where does it go above these? I think right there. Take me. Uh, take me. It's like me. It's the only way. Um. You're right there. Real middling. It's a good song, but this goes above Take Me, I think. Definitely beats, I think Let's, no, nah, Let's Go could stay right there. Everything Falls Apart, I think is going to go right there. Die Yet Another Night, it's, it's got a good chorus, but otherwise, I mean, uh, it's it's a good song. I don't think it beats Kiss. I'll put it right there. Definitely beats The Past, it doesn't beat Kiss, I don't think. Almost done. We got fucking... Two albums and bonus stuff left. Now the thing, oh man, is Kick the PA though? Is it? I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna consider it the live version. I'm gonna put that down here. Uh, just kind of. I'm gonna just kind of throw a couple things. He's falling asleep. My fingers are tingly. I should just sit in the same spot. When you're not there. Uh, I think it's right here. I think it's... One of those short songs that it's good, but it, I don't think that those really short can go above C. I mean, they can, because Dead's up there. Uh, I do think it's better than that, though. Um, I think Dead's above Lies, actually. Um, put that right there. The Nothing is, I think, my, yeah, what did I say? It was my second favorite corn album. So this is going to be difficult. 
Uh, they're all, it's all difficult. After the first fucking 50, it becomes so hard. I know I just keep saying that, but I don't really know what to say right now. I've been talking too much. And I'm just trying to really consider gravity of discomfort. So I think that's, oops. At least going up in A. It's gonna go right here for now. Um, I did the uh the same time he went whoa. So was, <laughs> I wasn't trying to sing with it. I just happened to do that. Uh, yeah, okay. It's harder, better than gravity of discomfort. I don't think so. It's pretty close though. I still think it's an A. I think Beg For Me is going above somebody, someone. And I think Harder is going here. And I think A Different World is going back a little bit. It's a good song, but I don't think it has as much staying power for me as some of the others. Surrender to Failure, another shorter song, but carries a lot of weight. Uh, but I don't I don't think it's better than these songs because it is shorter so I think I'm, I'm just gonna keep it down here with the MB Gans it's better than the MB Gans but I'm gonna keep it down there phone why you vibrate oh it's a TikTok like I think it's like the clone hero video that's old what are you doing there how did that show up in your page pretty high up there you'll never find me oof it's not as good as cold but it's still incredibly good in its own right things go right up there darkness is revealing uh, uh Insane definitely needs to go up. Okay. Uh, Idiosync. Oh, fuck, dude. This album is so good. I don't think... There's not one bad song on this album. This, this album has probably consistently the most... Uh, of course, not including the short songs, but... Um, consistently A-tier songs. second am i am i flipping a song one okay seduction of indulgence was one of the shorter ones did i the end begins surrender to failure I, oh look at me i'm making a million trips crushing this want to make sure I'm assigning them the correct one. Yeah. I'll put it down here and then started a failure. I know that one for sure. Um, okay. I just had to make sure we're, we're good. All right. And then worst time ever for you. Oh, he's sick. Oh no. Got a tummy ache. Got some puking. That's not good. We're almost done, by the way. This is where we're at right now. I know it's it's a lot to look at, but like, we're getting there. Jake, we have finishing up the, uh, the nothing. We have Requiem and then bonus songs. Yeah. Oh, poor guy. I'm sorry. Um, fucking chug some Pepto-Bismol. Him, make him a cocktail of Pepto-Bismol, uh, lemon ginger tea, and... Whatever he doesn't like, so he pukes it all back up. I think that'll work. Uh, 
fucking what you see is what you get. I don't think it's better than harder. <sighs> okay, well, I'm gonna have to zoom out a lot for you. You might have to take a couple of screenshots. Um, I think th <gasps> that's gonna go right there, I think. Can you hear me? That's immediately all the way up here in S tier. I fucking love this song. It's a great acoustic song, too. I don't... Uh, I don't know. If they, I think I'm gonna put it right there, right behind F Fagotigals. No, you're... You, absolutely no reason to apologize. There are way more important things than me doing this tier list. Um, you could have walked away for any reason at all. You could have been like, oh, uh, Jeopardy's on or something like that, and I, it's totally fine. Not that you watch Jeopardy, it's, it's the first thing that came to mind. Uh, the Ringmaster, let me just, uh, again, let me, uh, there's a lot of the in this album. Let me just hear the intro for this real quick. It's like an a First time I've ever heard John the Davis fucking beatbox. Did you know that this album has a song I can't feel? I never heard this song. I listened to it earlier to see what the hell. I I never heard that song. Aw, I like chatting with you too. I don't think that beats. I think this is in B. I didn't knew that I, I I didn't knew fucking hell I didn't know that song existed I it was not on the album it was not on the the digital release that I bought I don't think and it, it's not on Spotify so I did not know that that song was real <laughs> son of a bitch I don't think they played it in that live performance that they did to promote the album uh, uh this is actually might be actually bottom of A I think it beats finally free. Yeah, they didn't. Okay, so I just somehow missed it. Forgotten I didn't like when it first came out, but it definitely grew on me. But I think it's still below Ringmaster and Finally Free, and it might be... I think Maple Leaf's going right here. Forgotten... Might be right there, I think. Oh yeah, the scat medley. I need to do that where it's actually not the sing-along, but the problem is I don't have, I used to have so much more uh, like raspy uh, wetness, but I can't conjure it anymore. I think I damaged my voice a while ago, but like I can't get that just like, I can't do it anymore. Um, yeah, I can't feel this immediately. Um, like, I sometimes can't, but I can't maintain it. Like, I can do it pretty much early in the morning because there's a lot of, like, mucus and I haven't been talking. But if I go throughout the day, so if I go throughout the day, I can sing better and clean and projecting vocals if I do stuff later on in the day. Because I've been talking and warming my voice up. If I want to do any kind of screams or growls or, like, <laughs> kind of crap, just, like, I need to do that early in the day because my voice hasn't been fucked with yet. <laughs> so... I don't know. It's it, it, it ebbs and flows. It, it comes and goes. Where does this go? Though? I don't, I I don't know where to put this because I, I only listened to I, I only listened to it once, so I I can't properly rank it. I would need to listen to it more more times, a bunch more times. Let the dark do the rest, dude. That goes up here. That's all immediately in the S S tier. Uh, also, I think... Uh, yeah, no, actually, I'm going to leave that. Um, Holding on this lucid darkness is healing of my soul. I think that's going to go right here for now until I do my final shuffle, start the healing. The first song I heard of the album, I think it was the first one that they released. With the vocal covers. No, because they're not... They're, they're, they're too inconsistent. Plus, if you, like, let's say if you were to make that tier list, 
for like which ones are your favorites you have since i don't exist outside of this peripheral you would have to like make each one of these images you have to like get a screenshot put um photoshop uh, the title of what it is on there and then import that image into your own custom tier list like you have to make every single one of these images and then make your own tier list so uh i don't know i, I mean we're gonna play some apex i didn't i don't know if i was gonna stream apex um I could, if you're bored and need some more entertainment after, if you don't have much else going on, I could. But uh, I wasn't entirely planning on it. But, like, I don't mind. Any any reason to stream, because I need to. I need the motivation to stream. Start the healing. Uh, I think it... Uh, it's, it's below gravity of discomfort, but it's above this loss. I think it's right below, uh, it's right below it's on, I think. Yeah, but like, do you really want to do that? Do you really? You could just like write a list if you wanted me, if you wanted me to see it, you could just like write them in order. You don't have to do this. This is, that would be like a four hour endeavor. Also, I don't have music playing. I kind of forgot. Yeah, no, fair enough. I just, I don't know. I could stream. I often do way worse when I stream, though. Um, like, last night, we had a couple of, like, second and third places and a win. So, like, doing way better when I'm just fully focused on the game. But, like, you know, it all depends. I could. I might as well. I'd have to end the stream and then switch my other account and then start that stream. Because I'm not going to stream Apex on the Vocal Cover channel. Lost in the Grandeur. That's going straight up here. Is it... I think it's right here. Two second places, one third, and one win. Yeah. Yeah. Handwriting would be much preferred for the sake of your own sanity and time. Like, respect your time a little bit more than that, please. Uh, Disconnect, definitely a song I don't care that much about on this album. It's a good, it's a good song, but it's not that great. I think it definitely goes down here in the lower of B, or honestly, it might be top of C. It might be top of C. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Same with Hopeless and Beaten. Don't care that much for it. What's my favorite Jonathan Davis era? That's hard, man. I don't know, because he was super fun and lively during Path of Totality, because he was doing his j Dover persona, and he was really branching out, and they took a huge risk on dubstep. I mean, but then, you know, returning to... I, it, it might... It might be, album-wise, it might be Serenity of Suffering because that was such a return to form. And it wasn't Serenity of Suffering the first album they had with Headback, I wasn't it? And I and that was such a return to form. That was like, you know, Corn self-titled version two kind of thing. It was just like such a return to roots album. So I don't know. It might, it might be Serenity of Suffering. Because then that bled straight into the into the nothing and requiem was just like banger after banger after banger. Well, you should give me that list because I'm always looking for corn songs definitely to cover. I just never know which one to jump on first. I need right, Penis of Sorrow. This is going. It's going above. Start the healing. I think it might be. It might be right here. It's hard though because John the Davis doesn't have a bad era. But like Corn doesn't have a bad era. My confession grew on me, that's for sure. Definitely not my favorite. It's one of like the three misses on the album for me, but it definitely grew. I don't think it it's better. I think it might be like right here. Better than for no one, but it doesn't quite break chi. Maybe it does though. You know what, I, yeah, I'm gonna push it up a little bit. I'm gonna push it like, 
Right there, I think. Nah. It's not. Don't be embarrassed at all. Listen, I'm huge on lists and top tens. And, like, I used to make top tens constantly for fun outside of content. I love making top tens. I like ranking stuff. I like doing that. So having other people do that. Um, yeah, I like, I like seeing other people's lists and stuff. It's so interesting to see how people sort things. And then if it's a, a, a list of things that are, you know, guttering towards an interest like that, then I'd definitely be curious of, like, what you are crossing your fingers for kind of thing because like if i could look at it and go if they if they want that and i i definitely can do that song that i'm definitely gonna jump on it you know uh worse is on its way it's gonna i like the scat better in rotting in vain and i think it's gonna go right here it's always a fan of post issues and untouchables era yeah i the untouchables i definitely kind of missed like i liked untouchables and this this era is good but again i had to come i had to keep repeating i had to come back to those albums so they had a much different impact because i didn't grow with them i mostly got hit with see on the other side and whatever have you and then was like bam 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 and then bam, 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 or probably bam 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 i don't know i bounce around too much because again, it was mostly whatever I was watching on YouTube for music videos. And then, because I had iTunes back in the day, and I had my little iPod. So it was whatever I could get on my iPod is what I was listening to. So I didn't have access to every corn song. The priest gown. I have to go to refresh my memory. Are you kidding me? I want the... <laughs> yeah, that's sick. I'd wear that. Fuck yeah, I'd wear that. I want to get his mic stand, the bitch. I made my own mic stand, my own microphone. This is my microphone for whenever I do a music video. Bop, 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 bop. Um, okay, appears, appear, appears, appears, appears. I am built this way. Uh, I, that song is up. I like this song a lot. Uh, also, I think Mass Hysteria is going above Helmet in the Bush. Okay. Oh, I will shine as bright as I can. It's not very bright, but it's... There is some shine there. Appears is gonna go... I think right here. Okay. Proud. I need to refresh my, my mind. I'm proud. I think this song's like it's good i like it but it's not one of my favorites yeah it's yeah 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 it's not one of my favorites <laughs> that's awesome i need to join them i've been told a bunch of times i should do a uh, i should be the front man for a corn cover band I'm like i'm not that good but it would definitely be fun i have sung corn live i've done covers live before of love and meth and right now like, that's scary Shh, stop being so nice i don't know how to handle that uh this is um Right there. I wish this was the live version of Kick the PA because I love that version. I don't like the studio version. It's also old and unreleased, pretty much. Oh, it's so unfair. I fucking love that song. That was about what his son getting diabetes, and it was just that's so good. It was I think it was diabetes. It was like type two diabetes, I think. And I get out. Um, your car's been down. It's so unfair. My eyes, they burn me. It's hurting. I'm just gonna go right there. Type one, yeah. This broken soul. I, I, I've heard it. I can't think of it. I'm gonna say never heard it because I've heard it like once, but I, uh, oh, I have only listened to it a couple times. Oh my god, Haze. This, this is a good song, despite that it was made for a video game. I'm gonna put it right there. Oh yeah, too late. I'm dead. That like super short song. Too late, I'm dead. Oh, I don't think it was that short. 
Uh, I'm gonna put it right there. We care a lot. I don't think I've heard that song. I'm the one earlier version of my gift to you. Oh, okay. I love hearing that. I love when you, um, uh, what was it? Uh, one of the early songs that was the riff for coming undone. It's one of the, um, one of the songs I do listen to, but it was a riff of coming undone and then went to the bridge for getting off. Like it was a combination of those songs before they split them. Uh, it was fucking, I can't, I, it's, it's not in front of me, so I can't think of it. I'm going to put I'm the one. I like the song a lot. I'm going to put it like right here. Okay. Uh, oh, we're on the last song, Inside Out. And I want you inside out. Put that right there. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure all that early stuff before I don't have a lot of context for I, I have some but it's nothing that's really stuck with me. All right, so we're gonna go quickly um, From bottom to top and Sort and make sure everything is where it is so F tier camel toasts children of the corn camel song Yeah, definitely. I think children of the corn is gonna go at the top of that um, You know, I'm gonna put that in D. It's okay I don't because I, I like Jonathan Davis's parts in it, but I don't care about Ice Cube's part at all um, Wicked, yeah, that can stay there. Play Me. Um, I think Play Me can go here. And Wicked can stay at the top. Proud, Too Late, I'm Dead. Uh, Kick the PA, because it's the studio version. I don't like it very much. Uh, and that, honestly, might drop down here. Because, yeah, if it was a live version, it would be a different story. But, Proud, Too Late, I'm Dead. One, one, drop that, wake up. I gotta listen, because I always combine Wake Up and Wake Up Hate. So I need to listen to this for one second. Oh yeah, what the fuck? Oh, this song's too repetitive for me. I got so bored of it. It's it's good. I like the, I can take no more. What are we fighting for? It's good, but this song's too repetitive, and I don't know. I don't, I don't like it very much. It doesn't flow very well for me. <clears throat> um, intro, fake, seed, wake up I think seed is gonna go up a little bit Alive Killing <clears throat> I like it I do like wake up, hey I just I don't like the chorus I like the, the melody I just don't like We gotta wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I like the verse that I am the burning. I like that, and I like the actual melody, but it's, I just can't get around. I don't like the chorus. But all right, you know, I am going to move it up a little bit because if it's like three out of four things I do like, then yeah, it's going to go up. Yeah, yeah, the bridge is good. Yeah, you're right. I, got, I had to think about that. I get stuck on the chorus. I need to push it up. So I'll move this up higher and see. Right there behind Hopeless and Beaten. You know what? Above Hopeless and Beaten. Hope that might be my least favorite song on the Requiem. On Requiem. Um, All in the Family. This part of it just, it could be me. Am I going crazy? It's going to go away. <clears throat> uh, okay. Can't do what they say. BBK. I got to hear BBK again real quick. I yeah, listened to it a lot in middle school, and then I hadn't listened to it very much. I gotta remind myself. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, that's yeah, BBK. I, yeah, I forgot. This is definitely going up. Um... right there bbk gets a big promotion uh hope it's a beat wake up when will this end let's do this now i think let's do this now is going up a little bit more 
<clears throat> Game begins. Uh, alright, hold on. Lies dead. Uh, yeah, come on, fuck off, dude. Yep, yeah, there we go, okay. Uh, sanctuary out of view. It's moving up a little bit. Surrender to failure. I, I I have to move this up a little bit. Haze is gonna come down a little bit. Inside of you. Okay. She'll move. I'm done a little bit. Move that down. Drop that. Drop that. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Hey, it's hard to place daddy anywhere. I can't really. Can't pair, you can't match that up against songs, but I'm trying to judge it on its own merit instead of the emotion behind it. Um, okay. uh, yeah, I could stay there, predictable. Give to you. Come down one more. Yeah, but I think I'm the one that's definitely too high up. Um, I don't know. Like, I know it is. I agree. But some of these other songs have more meaning to me. I can like I can very vividly remember me listening to a lot of Paradigm Shift like that summer. I was listening or summer or fall whatever I was listening to that just like has more memories than Hey Daddy excited because Hey Daddy is one of the songs I had to like fish out of corn history and get into which I did like it a lot I'll move it up though for sure definitely above y'all want a single above that put it right there I'll move it up a little bit more them off and again you have to remember it's still a b it's still a seven out of ten which is two points above average only three points from perfect so you have to remember how good a b is put that right there last label drug pray for me Clean my place goes here. Punishment time. Hating. I gotta listen to hating again. I remembering that song. I, I haven't heard it in a little bit. I gotta I gotta jump into it. Okay. Now it's on. Is anything moving? That got moved down is make believe way too far and blame. Are those moving up to A? I think this is gonna switch with black as the soul, and that's gonna go second and way too far. It's gonna go right there. Okay, yep. Yeah. 
finally free the ringmaster i think ringmaster needs to be moved up i think blame is better than make believe well let me give them a quick listen to make sure i'm considering all facets of it so hard i think they're no i'll do you one i'm gonna make them i'm gonna put them right there i think they're pretty much tied for me honestly yeah i think they're pretty much tied for me untouchables is a lot better than i gave it credit for in my head it doesn't seem so memorable because some of them don't stand out as much as others but like i guess i just haven't listened to it in a while i'm gonna move i'm hiding down ringmaster i think that needs to be moved up above somebody someone Harder, beg for me, this loss. I'm gonna move it's on down. I do love the song, but it, it, putting it up against some of these other ones, I think it's gonna be at the. I think it's gonna be right there. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna piss a lot of people off with never, never being above right now. I don't care, dude. Chord going pop was so fucking good. I love that song. And again, I listen to right now way too much growing up, so I burn myself out on it. But it's an all-time classic. But I, I just, I get, I, I groove. I groove with Never Never, dude. I love it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna promote Clown up to S. And Dirty. I think those two are going up. I think that, that makes a little bit more sense to me. Yeah, for sure. All right, but now where do they fall in here? I think that's probably gonna be Hypocrites at the bottom of S. Clown's, I got a, Clown's gonna get a promotion, definitely. You know what, actually? I'm gonna put Got the Life here, I'm gonna replace it with Alone I Break. Try and place Blind in there, it's gonna be so hard. You know what, I think we're gonna, I think this is good. Yeah, I think. I think this is the list. So, and then everything down here is just album art. <laughs> that's uh, that's the list right there. Can I get this? Like, I wish I could make that exact number. There you go. If you can read that, if you can see that list. There it is. And I'll save it, and I'm going to post it um, on the channel. Yeah, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to post it on this channel in the feed. And then should be good. So how uh, – also, it's like, do I want to post it and spoil the whole stream? Like, because I was going to cut into a video, but it doesn't matter. Who cares? Um, that was – two hours two fucking hours so i'm gonna yeah we can go play apex jake till like 11 30 or so um what's tomorrow saturday yeah like 11 30 or so so if anybody's chilling here and you want to i'm gonna continue streaming over on my main channel lincoln's legion go ahead and switch over there um gonna be playing some apex with jx tux in the chat so uh, thank you, everyone who's been hanging out. Thank you, uh, Brock, for your input and for chilling with me. Uh, thank you, um, I was going to say, Corn1006. I'm going to go by username for hanging out and being so chill. And uh, I will see you guys over on the Apex stream. So, bye-bye. <laughs>